killed them all when we came here. The people came and burned their land, the forests where they used to feed. We burned the trees that gave them shade and burned to bush, to scrub, to heath. We made it easier to hunt. We changed the land and they were gone. Today, our beasts and dreams are small, as species fall to time and us. But back before the black folk came, before the white folk's fleet arrived, before we built our cities here, before the casual genocide, this was the land where nightmares loped and hopped and ran and crawled and slid. And then we did the things we did, and thus we died the things we died. We have not seen Diprotodon, a wombat bigger than a room, or run from Dromornithidae, gigantic demon ducks of doom, or motor legs and ripping beaks, a flock of geese from hell's dark moor. We've lost carnivorous kangaroo, a bouncy furrier T-Rex, and Thylacolio Carnifex, the rat king, devil, lion thing, the drop bear fantasy made flesh. Quincana, the land crocodile, five meters long and fast as fright. Wanambi, the enormous snake who waited by the water holes and took the ones who came to drink who were not watchful, clever, bright. Our thylacines were tiger wolves until we drove them off the map. Then Megalania, seven meters of venomous, enormous lizard, and more, and more, the ones whose bones we've never seen, the megafauna haunt our dreams. This was their land before mankind, just 50,000 years ago. Time is a beast that eats and eats gives nothing back but ash and bones. And one day someone else will come to excavate a heap of stones and wonder, what were people like? Their teeth weren't sharp, their feet were slow. They walked Australia long ago, before time took them into tales. We're transients, the land remains until its outlines wash away, while night falls down like drop bears don't to swallow up Australia Day. originally inveigled me into singing in public. But it's more fun if you have a string quartet. <laughs> and it's an old song. Picture a little love nest down 
them where the roses cling. Picture that same sweet love nest. Now think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes and baby clothes. He's so ambitious, he even sews. So don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks, for making whoopee. Another year, or maybe less. What's this I hear? Well, can't you guess? She feels neglected, and he's suspected of making whoopee. She sits at home most every night. He doesn't phone her, he doesn't write. She says he's busy. And she says, is he? He's making whoopee. He doesn't make much money. Only 5,000 per. Some judge who thinks he's funny says, don't give six to her. And he says, judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, Fudge, straight into jail. You better keep her. I think it's cheaper than making whoopee. So we've been writing some new stuff, um, and this was this is one of the new things that we've done recently, um, and it, it had a kind of odd upside down beginning when Foreplay just they said, "Would you like to hear some of the stuff we've been working on?" And I said, "Sure." And they played me um, a few things they've done and. I said, hey, that one you just did, I think I've got something that might fit it. And I went off and rummaged in some pieces of paper and, and said, hang on, play that again while I read this. And I did, and they did, and they fit. So this is, and then we, we sort of noodled it a bit, and we wrote a bit for Lara to sing, because anything is always improved if you can get Lara to sing. It's called The Song of the Song. ring to the crash of the band and they sing it a lot. It might even be true, but it's not. Listen you, there's a boy, loves a girl, she has skin fair as milk, she has breasts like ripe apples and lips soft as silk, so he sings of such stuff, how I love her for A, the 
though he's ragged and rough and he sleeps in the hay. For love makes no mistakes. It is perfect and clean. She is gone when he wakes, and I mean. Just fool and trap you, made of lies. 